Tonight, the Jacksonville City Council will vote on measures to protect retirement plans for JEA workers. In case JEA is sold, the legislation would protect workers' pensions. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley joining us live outside City Hall with more. Kelly. City Council is meeting on this right now. Later tonight, they will vote on protections for JEA workers' retirement plans. Earlier, there was some discussion of moving this back to committee, but ultimately they did decide to vote tonight. If this is voted through, it means if JEA is sold, it will protect these workers' plans. JEA has concluded negotiations with all five of its unions. The major concern, according to CEO Aaron Zahn, protections for retirement plans as the utility explores possibly selling to a private company. They wanted to ensure that whatever the outcome, that the retirement that they have been working for, whether it's five years, 20 years, or 30 years, was protected. JEA's Board of Trustees approved uh, measures Tuesday to protect workers' pensions. City Council will have the ultimate decision. A lot of the protections that this board mandated in the legislation that's in front of City Council tonight, that does exactly that. It, it protects their pension and ensures those employees the retirement that they have already earned. Local union president Kathleen Crow says negotiations for the three year collective bargaining agreements, including protections for workers, felt rushed, but ultimately she's satisfied with the agreement. None of the employees want to sell JEA. We all want to keep JEA for our community and, and for our jobs. The discussion comes as JEA continues to explore several options in light of decreasing sales. JEA CEO says its residential sales are down 20% per customer. Commercial industrial sales are down 30% per customer. And sales from the utility's largest employer, Florida Blue, is down 40% per customer. The traditional utility response is a continuation of the last 10 years. It's raising rates. It's cutting costs, it's cutting overhead, deferring capex, and continue to pay off debt. And it's still unclear what will happen with JEA. The Board of Trustees did say today that this is still an explore, exploratory process of their options, but tonight's vote could provide some security for JEA workers. So, Kelly, who exactly is paying for this part of the plan? And it's the city's it's the city's credit that backs the pensions, but JEA does pay into it every year. If JEA is sold, it means that JEA will go ahead and pay the lump sum of their obligation to the city in these pensions all at once. All right, Kelly Wiley, thanks for explaining it all. Reporting live from downtown. Thanks.